Hello everyone. Welcome to this session on Zat strategy. Uh, how to crack Zat 2023. Uh, in this session, we'll discuss the test test format. What is the exam pattern? Uh, we'll also discuss uh, the uh, XLRI different courses. What are the cutoffs in terms of percentages? Uh, then we'll discuss the scores required to get uh, the, the percentile. The the uh, the pattern or the observation which we had for last uh, four years for that. Uh, then we'll discuss the important topics for that. Okay, uh, for different sections, and then we'll discuss the preparation plan which we you should be uh, going through in the next uh, next around uh, twenty days. And then in the end, we will dis also discuss a B Factory's content guide, which you can use to maximize your school. So uh, let's begin. Okay. So first of all, let's start with the pattern. So the exam can be divided into um, two or three parts. Uh, the first part, which is the important one, uh, because uh, the the three sections: verbal ability, uh, logical reasoning decision making and quantitative ability and data interpretation these are the three sec uh, section uh, part one uh, whose score is considered for getting the percentile so part two and part three are evaluated but then you they, they don't have any impact on the percentile okay uh, moreover uh, means these uh, the impact of these two is considered only to, uh, during the interviews so for XLRI and uh, other colleges they they may uh, miss want to know your means they have this uh, your G gk score as well as essay writing score uh, when they uh, you appear for the interview and then you can be asked question based on uh, what you have written in your essay so make sure that uh, whatever you have written in your essay during the exam you at least have some clue remember what are the things you have written because you, you may get a few questions on the same uh, it is reintroduced in uh, cat 20 means uh, z23 only it was discontinued earlier it was there the, the essay writing part now coming to the section verbal ability logical reasoning verbal ability is something which we already know as in uh, for, from cat perspective uh, the rc uh, verbal reasoning all all these those type of question logical reasoning uh, is not a logical reasoning of cat this logical reasoning is uh, mostly uh, what we call as uh, the uh, syllogism or the, the type of reasoning question we get in CMAT and other exams. Okay, the uh, assumption based question, statement and the conclusion, all those type of questions. Decision making is a different section altogether. Uh, you might have few classes to means uh, had few classes, so you will have an idea. You you are supposed to take decision depending on your uh, I mean the, the circumstances given to you. Okay, so that is what we have. Now, one more thing uh, which needs to be noted is uh, that uh, decision making uh, includes uh, something called analytical reasoning as well. Now, analytical reasoning is exactly what uh, are the type of question you get in logical reasoning in CAT. So, that is something which is there. Now, last year, in fact, there were no questions from analytical reasoning, but you, you can always ex uh, expect uh, one or two sets from analytical reasoning in this particular section. Coming to quantitative ability and data interpretation, it is uh, means as, as you know in CAT, okay, uh, QA as well as DI, and uh, general knowledge is you are already aware, and essay writing is something you have to write one small essay, around 200 words. Uh, that is the expectation. Now, let's move uh, to the next part, which is uh, the summary of what we have already discussed. Discuss. Uh, one big difference uh, is that uh, with respect to, uh, means a to means in comparison with cat is that in that you don't have any sectional time limit so you can move across verbal ability logical uh, reasoning decision making qadi section during the exam so you can plan if you want to uh, give more time on your weaker areas or stronger areas to make uh, to make sure that you get better score okay so that is something which you can do it obviously uh, general knowledge you will get uh, 15 minutes separately and for essay writing 10 more minutes extra you get so total 101 question so this is the pattern everyone okay. now coming to the score versus percentile so uh, in that uh, the the marking scheme is plus one 
and minus 0.25 you have five options uh, per question so a score of 9.5 will give you around 85 percentile a 10.5 will be 90 percentile uh, and a score of 12 uh, out of this 26 will be around 95 percentile uh, decision making is 9 uh, if you get a score around 9 then you'll have 85 percentile you have 10 then you'll have around 90 percentile and 11.5 should give you 95 percentile now the last one QA if you so 9.5 will give around 85 percentile 11 will give around 90 but uh, means you get if you want to get higher score the, the, the competition is very high means QA mein high score bahut jada high jata hai because people you can give disproportionate time in a particular section so uh, score well, means in sectional score can be very very high you know? so uh, need not worry about it much because the sectional cutoffs are uh, pretty means reasonably low to uh, get any means call from any good college now coming to the overall score if you see 22 will give you around 80 percentile okay so uh, and around 24 will give you 85 percentile so if you score 85 85 in all the sections this is 9.5 9 and 9.5 which is uh, exactly 28 you will get around 90 percentile so that that is something which is minimum base target okay Similarly, if you score, let's say, 90 percentile, which is 11 in QA, 10 in uh, decision making and 10.5 in verbal, so you'll get around 31.5, which is good enough to get you 93, 94, percentile. So th that is the uh, uh, score. Okay. Uh, generally, you start getting Excel ka calls from 93 percentile. Okay. So one thing which is very, very important, okay, which I've seen is that you need to make sure that you have balance of sections also because there is no time limit in a particular section so balancing is something which you need to do okay and uh, higher score kafi high jate 40 plus tak jate but uh, with even with 30 32 uh, you, you get uh, you start getting calls from uh, excel right and uh, that that is the, that is the target you should be having in mind okay. now coming to excel cutoffs okay now if you are a male student the, the cutoffs are slightly higher compared to female students okay. uh, so for BM which is for the their flagship course uh, business management you get 94 percentile you need to have for BM for uh, general males uh, male students for uh, sorry uh, there, there's no as in uh, reservation so you need not worry about uh, general law means the, the reservation thing uh, for female it is 92 percentile for hr it is 93 for again hr uh, non-engineers and engineers uh, there, there is a segregation so uh, these are the, the percentiles okay so uh, percentiles are higher for males and engineers compared to non-males because they they want to have diversity so that that is the case okay uh, if you see sectional cutoffs okay uh, you you can see uh, the max is for BM male which is 83 in quant apart from that percentile required at around 80 or 75 percentile only so the you can understand that uh, the, the strategy should be to get a base score of at least 80 85 percentile in each of the section and then you can give the rest of the time devote time to maximize your overall score so that that should be the, uh, the the strategy which you should be following for the exam now coming to the other uh, means colleges apart from xlri sp gen also uh, except xzadka score even ximb so you, you have like around 90 91 uh, even for imt it is 90 percentile gym goa also accepts um, zad which is a score which is well, which varies around 80 to 88 uh, tapmi it is around 80 to 84 uh, Great Lakes 80 to 84, same range as Irma, Mica. For Irma, you need to write another exam for uh, Irma also, uh, in addition to CAT or ZAT, uh, which uh, which are accepted uh, by Irma. KJ Swam is around 84 to 85. Uh, okay. uh, Liba is around 80 to 85. IFMR again 72 to 80, uh, 79 80. So if you score and uh, our exercise, exercises, HR is around 70, 75 percentile. And remaining uh, means uh, marketing is around 65 and finance is around 60 percent. So that that sums up the all the colleges which accept the uh, ZK scores. Now uh, other features okay 
uh, you have mcq questions you have descriptive question five options are there the marking scheme is 0. Point, uh, sorry one for each correct answer and 0. 0.25 for each wrong answer uh, then uh, no marking for the, the same uh, gk okay and then uh, total duration is uh, 190 minutes and only the scores of VA, QA, DI and decision making are considered for the percentile calculation. There is no sectional limit in part 1 so you can move across which you already discussed. Uh, there is one more thing which uh, this this is something which was uh, means introduced around uh, 7 years back by uh, sorry that is this, there is penalty for unattempted question also. So uh, for each unattempted question after 8 questions so you have 75 questions. So if you leave eight questions, so 67 question you need to attempt. Uh, are, okay, so if you attempt, let's say 60 questions only, so there is already a penalty of 7 into 0 0.1, which is 0 0.07. So if you attempt, uh, do you don't attempt uh, 10 questions, then you will lose one mark. Okay. So that is something which you keep in mind. Okay. Now, uh, with respect to this policy, I'll suggest okay, all the from probability uh, probabilities perspective. Uh, it is always advisable according to normal distribution that you attempt all the questions reason being for correct question you will get uh, one mark and for wrong uh, means answer you will get minus 2.5 since there are five options so minus 2.5 into four options is uh, one and for correct answer is plus one so you will get zero so if you attempt five questions randomly you will get zero but that is something uh, which is in normal distribution that but if you see uh, means if you read the rationality and normal distribution, uh, the guess work can also go wrong. Uh, means our means as in that let's say let's you have attempted ten questions, okay, then you attempted all the ten questions wrongly, okay, then you can lose uh, zero minus two point five. So that that is the kind of penalty. Or if you attempt uh, ten questions and you get one question correct, nine questions wrong, then also your penalty will be. Uh, 1 minus uh, 2.25 is minus 1.25 so thing is that is uh, is a gamble sort of a thing so uh, from normal distribution perspective you can attempt it but then I'll say if, if you are means following that concept then still uh, the, the the guessing should not be wild uh, you, you can make intelligent guessing so that is something which is a change again now last year uh, essay writing question is reintroduced okay so that is something which you can uh, means you need to practice a little bit of that also okay so i think i'm clear on this unattended question penalty okay now for preparation plan uh, uh, first of all let's see the type of questions we get so in uh, the qs var section which is verbal reasoning and logical reasoning we get uh, four rcs 14 to 16 questions okay uh, these rcs are uh, can you can sometimes you get poems also in these rcs these rcs are relatively difficult compared to cat okay so that is something which you can keep in mind um, then you get we, we get questions from vocabulary as well as para jumble. so verbal uh, may, these are the topics which are different it means vocabulary analogy and grammar equation you get uh, logical reasoning as i told you earlier is not exactly cat car logical reasoning it's a logical reasoning which is more of cmat and other exams logical reasoning so you get question of statement assumption statement conclusion cause and effect those kind of questions also you get okay uh, from uh, logical reasoning so uh, you can expect around four to five questions from that uh, that part okay so scale a you, you need to uh, read a lot again now that is something which you keep on doing and uh, Grammar and vocabulary ko bhi alag se aapko practice achche se kar lena chahiye to master this particular section. Next coming to decision making. This is the second section. Okay, you get 21 question. Uh, so uh, we'll get around means most uh, all the questions. Okay, last year were uh, based on sets. Okay, there was not not a single question. I mean standalone question nahi aate. Kabi kabi aa jaate but mostly you'll get questions on the uh, in the sets only. Uh, you may get question from analytical reasoning as well in this particular section which is analytical reasoning is similar to uh, as I told you earlier it's cat ka LR type of question sakte. No. now this particular section uh, you have to understand the process of decision making 
स्पेशली एथिक्स एंड ऑल दो टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन जो आपको अच्छे से कर लेना चाहिए उसको लुक को ना लेवल ऑफ डिफिकल्टी जनरली मॉडरेट टू डिफिकल्ट है ना कौन सा डी आई अगेन दिस इज आई थिंक कंपेयर टू कैट रिलेटिवली दिस इज मीन्स पहले मीन्स इट्स ऑलमोस्ट सेम लेवल पे आता है ना क्वान्स एंड डी आई इज लिटिल बिट डिफरेंट अगेन सो क्वान्स में मोस्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक्स यू कैट इज मीन्स अर्थमेटिक जोमेट्री इज ज़्यादा फोकस्ड होता है इस जैट में कंपेयर टू कैट यू यू गेट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम थ्री डी ट्रिग्नोमेट्री एंड ऑल दो कैंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज वेल है ना सिमिलरली फंक्शन से भी क्वेश्चन आते तो सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विच आर एडवांस लेवल के क्वेश्चन यू यू गेट दोज क्वेश्चन इन जैट ऑल्सो डी आई में मोस्ट डी आई आर कैलकुलेशन बेस्ड बट यू यू गेट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मीन्स ग्राफ्स इन समथिंग विच यू आर नॉट सीन बिफोर दोज काइंड ऑफ ग्राफ्स यू मीन्स वी हैव एनकाउंटेड सो यहाँ पे द की इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द ग्राफ्स Uh, and do the calculation. Okay, so uh, if there are two sets from uh, DI, one will be one weird sort of a graph, and another will be a tabular DI. So that weird sort of a graph, if you just read for a couple of minutes and you are understanding what is given, then it's just visual representation. You will be able to solve it. Uh, in case, uh, okay, and then the tabular DI can be generally a little bit tricky in terms of calculation as well as the logic logic app, uh, application. so that that is what uh, this particular uh, section is now coming to gk uh, you get 25 questions 15 minutes uh, means uh, question are based on business economic social issues uh, even uh, government appointments public policy also you get question from sports constitution na no, those are the question you are asked uh, so uh, the means just If you are prepared for IFT or any means other exams uh, where it, GK is there, and then this is good enough. Okay. Now coming to the strategy for Z. Exactly. Now here uh, I'll discuss in detail what you need to do. Okay. Uh, so for Z, uh, you need to understand the exam ka pattern and syllabus because uh, slightly different compared to CAT or even other exams also. and pattern gives you this liberty of going through the sections means uh, across the section that is something which you can you can utilize very very well and what i mean by that is let's say you have uh, since you have three sections uh you can means uh, one thing you need to do is you have to ensure that you get a decent cut off score in each of the section so um let's say there there are 165 minutes what i'll suggest is probably what you can do is uh you can give uh, maybe 45 45 45 uh, minutes to each of the section so you have 135 minutes in one of the section you feel you need to give extra time or something then you can give uh, do that some extra time so you can uh, let's say keep 10 minutes extra for the same then you have last 20 minutes extra you can use those 20 minutes extra to maximize your score which can be your stronger section so uh, so that way you are ensuring that you are attempting enough number of question in each of the section and you are getting good score okay in each of the section cutting clearing the cut off and then another 20 to 30 minutes mein se jab bhi ho you can use and to maximize your score so that you you uh, clear the overall cut off as well because sectional cut offs are very low 80 80 80 a but uh, overall cut off jo hai 99 ho jata hai so uh, 93 90 so so even if you see uh, excellent i bm ka bhi cut offs are 84 80 80 is types hai na if you score means enough in each of these sections then also means your overall score won't be more than 90% so just clearing the cut off won't be enough na so and uh, uh what happens is even if you get a call the the means weightage of score is very high in zat ke bm ke final selection mein so you need to keep that in mind so maximize bhi karna hai score ko not only so equal equal divide karne ka koi matlab nahi hai you divide 55 55 55 that is i think is not a right uh, way to go about the exam no so from pattern there is something which you can take away syllabus we have already discussed what are the things you need to focus on okay uh then read uh according to z pattern okay uh, this content is shared in your whatsapp group okay uh, i'll share some extra question for verbal practice also so that is something which you can or do means uh, which will include rc para jumbles and also you will have question from um, 
ग्रामर एंड वो कैबलरी एज वेल सो वो भी आप प्रैक्टिस करिएगा एज आल शेयर आफ्टर दिस सेशन टूडेज क्लास सो यू यू नीड टू रीड अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस पेपर मीन्स एग्जाम ऑल्सो रेगुलरली रीडिंग इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑल्सो आई हैव शेयर मीन नाजी सर हैज शेयर आई थिंक नो आई थिंक आई हैव शेयर फ्यू टॉपिक्स ऑल्सो फ्रॉम फॉर रीडिंग परस्पेक्टिव सो कीप डूइंग दैट डिवोट अराउंड फाइव टू सिक्स आवर्स नॉट नेसेसरी यू नीड टू टेन मीन्स ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन आवर्स फाइव टू सिक्स आवर्स इज नफ और इफ यू इफ यू कैन डिवोट मोर दैट इज इवन बेटर एंड कंसिस्टेंटली वर्क ऑन दीज थिंग ओके एंड डिवाइड योर टाइम एज पर योर स्किल सेट रिक्वायरमेंट टू बिल्ड योर बेसिक्स ब्रिंग योर कंसेप्चुअल क्वालिटी थ्रू बुक्स स्टडी मेटेरियल जैट के पैटर्न को फॉलो करना है बेसिकली है ना स्टेप फाइव इज डिसीजन मेकिंग अगे आई वॉन्टेड टू टॉक लिटिल बिट अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन ना डिसीजन मेकिंग इज नॉट अबाउट मीन्स एज इन आपको टूल्स जानने हैं या स्टेप ऑफ क्वेश्चन जानने के बहुत से उससे ज़्यादा इम्पॉर्टेंट है गेटिंग दैट माइंड सेट सो राहुल सर ने जो क्लास लिया होगा उसके अलावा वीडियो भी शेयर की है तो उसमें आपको क्या हुआ से ज़्यादा इम्पॉर्टेंट है कि यू डेवलप दैट माइंड सेट हाउ यू आर सपोज होते हैं ना बिकॉज मीन एक्सलराइज एज एन इंस्टीट्यूशन बिलीव इन दैट यू फॉलो एथिक्स मोरलिटी दैन यू ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोसेस ऑफ बिजनेस ओके बोर आर दिंग्स विच आर मोर क्रिटिकल कंपेयर टू विच आर थिंग्स विच आर लेस क्रिटिकल सो डेवलप दैट माइंड सेट है ना लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स विच वी सो इट्स मोर ऑफ माइंड सेट बेस्ड ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो यू हैव टू रिमूव दोज प्री कंसिव नोशन विच यू हैव है ना सो बिकॉज इन लाइफ वॉट एवं वी वी डू सर्टन थिंग्स विच आर एक्सेप्टेबल इन लाइफ ओके बट प्रॉब्ली दी दो थिंग्स आर नॉट राइट एथिकली ना तो दैट इज समथिंग विच यू नीड टू लर्न है ना प्रॉब्लम आई मीन ऑब्वियसली यू कैन अप्लाई दैट इन योर रियल लाइफ एज वेल बट एंड यू यू शुड बी अप्लाइंग वेन यू आर मेकिंग डिसीजन इन डिसीजन मेकिंग सेक्शन ऑल्सो सो थियोरी को वेर अंडरस्टैंड करना है वो माइंड सेट को डेवलप करना है आई एम टेलिंग यू इट मे टेक सम टाइम है ना टू डेवलप द माइंड सेट बट वंस यू अचीव दैट माइंड सेट दैन यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व दोज क्वेश्चन ईजिली सो वॉट यू विल सी इज लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स who have work ex na no, work experience uh, they are able to do very well in decision making because uh, they they understand corporate uh, thinking they also understand how decisions are taking in the organization so they they have that advantage so uh, so thing is aapko usi tarike se sochna hai us tarike ko seekhna hai to us pe kafi acche se dhyan dijiye okay uh, aur samjhiye ki kaise decision making mein process hota hai uh coming to step 6 is decision uh, data interpretation uh as i told you there are two types of questions one is table table data and another one is can be the tricky type of uh, uh, this thing uh, strange type of uh, di set so the the mostly calculation based hota hai jo table table di hota hai you might need to use uh, approximation techniques in which we already taught in the class uh apart from that जो ट्रिकी टाइप का डी आई है उसको हैंडल करने के लिए जैट के प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन देखिए किस किस टाइप के डी आईज आ चुके हैं ना यू विल गेट एन आइडिया दैट यू यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट एनी टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन है ना एंड सेंस एंड यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट विद इन टू टू थ्री मिनट्स इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड अ ग्राफ दैन इट्स मीन्स इट्स अ केक वॉक मीन्स प्रॉब्ली अनदर फोर फाइव मिनट यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व द होल सेट है ना तो वो चीज़ बहुत ही मीन्स इट कैन बी रिवॉर्डिंग इन द सेंस if you are able to means uh, understand a different type of uh, graph uh, and uh, continuously apne weaker areas pe focus kijiye because sectional cut off is very very important uh, just say i'll tell you when i prepared for means my cut okay uh, i had a score of 93 94 95% dial in three sections okay when uh, i got means cut means zat ka mere ko call tha unfortunately i was accelerated i could not appear for the interview uh but thing is uh the sectional balance is very very important so make sure that you are good in each of the sections you know uh write test mock test jo ho rahe hai usko de diye aapka z ka analyze kariye errors ko and then improve karna hai beech mein okay and uh, next i'll say till 31st uh whatever content we have already shared and will sh- be sharing di ke liye i'll share extra content uh and this will include some of the questions which are uh, analytical reasoning wale question bhi 
उनको भी प्रैक्टिस करना है दिस होल मटेरियल टुडे इज ट्वेंटी सो यू हैव अनदर इलेवन वे इज टू प्रैक्टिस न्यू ईयर के बाद से डोंट स्टार्ट न्यू थिंग्स जस्ट रिवाइज वॉट एवर यू ऑलरेडी लर्न वॉट आर थिंग्स यू ऑलरेडी नो है ना डिसीजन मेकिंग का माइंड सेट को जी कैप करना है एंड जो भी है इस क्यू ए डी आई वी ए के क्वेश्चन को जो भी आपने किया उसको रिवाइज करना है एंड फाइनली बी रेडी एग्जाम क्लियर माइंड सेट थिंग इज यहाँ पे स्ट्रेटजी इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ एज आई टोल्ड यू कि सेक्शन में सेंस यू कैन मूव अक्रॉस सेक्शन तो वो भी पहले से प्रिपेयर करके रखना है सो थिंग इज वॉट यू कैन यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इज यू कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एनी सेक्शन वट यू वॉन्ट सो वॉट एवर योर स्ट्रॉगर एरिया यू कैन प्रॉब्लम स्टार्ट विद दैट सो दैट यू यू आर राइट ऑन द राइट कोर्स ओके ड्यूरिंग द एग्जाम एंड देन यू कैन टेक सब्सिक्वेंट सेक्शन सो probably you can start with let's say uh, qa is your strength start with qa then probably you can go with va and decision making or probably in other way around uh, decision making is something which require you to think so probably uh, you should keep that as means first two section only uh, that is something which is my suggestion okay but if you feel otherwise you can obviously take that decision as well now coming to the last part uh, b factory ke content se uh, मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट डिसीजन मेकिंग का थ्योरी एंड सॉल्विंग जो भी हो रखा है उसको अच्छे से रिवाइज करना है बेस्ट रिसोर्स फॉर डिसीजन मेकिंग क्वेश्चन इज योर जैट के प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ना सो इफ यू नीड मोर क्वेश्चन गो और पहले पुराने पुराने क्वेश्चन टू थाउजेंड एट सेवन उसके पहले पुराने भी जा सकते हैं डिसीजन मेकिंग में बिकॉज एवरी ईयर वॉट एवरी है ना वेन जैट का रिजल्ट इज मीन दिस थिंग क्वेश्चन पेपर इज आउट है ना एंड कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट प्रिपेयर देयर आंसर कीज एंड वो जैट अपना ऑफिशियल करता है हर में दो तीन का मिसमैच रहता ही है सो थिंग इज बेस्ट रिसोर्स इज जैट का ओन मटेरियल ना किसी और मीन्स यू यू वॉन्ट ऑनलाइन ऑनलाइन वाले मटेरियल को रेफर मत कीजिए प्रॉब्ली जैट के क्वेश्चन में भी दे हैव डिफरेंट आंसर कम्पेयर टू द ऑफिशियल आंसर तो दैट इज समथिंग विच यू नीड टू बी बी अवेयर ऑफ ओके तो जैट का मटेरियल मीन्स जो प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन ईयर क्वेश्चन वही करना है जैट प्रीवियस ये क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करके यू गेट इन द आइडिया फॉर वी एज वेल एज क्यू ए डी आई सो दैट इज समथिंग विच यू शुड बी डूइंग एटलीस्ट लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स के क्वेश्चन जैट के मॉक टेस्ट गिव दोज मॉक टेस्ट टू प्रिपेयर इन रियल टाइम ऑफ हाउ यू आर यू आर एबल टू परफॉर्म स्पेशल रीडिंग फॉर वर्बल बिकॉज द टाइप ऑफ आर सीज कम ना दे आर डिफरेंट सो दैट इज समथिंग विच यू नीड टू डू ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस वर्बल के लिए सॉल्विंग प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन आई शेयर तो वो भी आपको सॉल्व करना है डी आई के लिए भी अगेन आई आई शेयर सम कंटेंट विच विल हैव जैट टाइप के डी आई के क्वेश्चन सो सो ऑल दैट दे विल दिस पर्टिकुलर फाइल इंक्लूड सम एल आर क्वेश्चन विच कैन कम इन एनालिटिकल पार्ट एनालिटिकल रीजनिंग पार्ट इन डी एम सेक्शन सो वो भी प्रैक्टिस कर लेना एंड लास्टली आई शेयर सम क्यू ए क्वेश्चन एज वेल क्यू ए क्वेश्चन विच विल बी अकॉर्डिंग टू दी टॉपिक्स so if you feel a particular topics need a particular uh, means uh, more practice or something then you can solve those question which are relevant for that so thing is you need to push on for another 10 days to solve more questions and practice more and prepare a strategy while writing the mocks how will you be uh, doing it and one thing i'll say is over the years in uh, means from 2009 से लेके अभी तक जब मैं जैट को मैं जैट का एग्जाम दिया पेपर को अच्छे से फॉलो किया है वट आई सीन इज जैट इज मच मोर प्रोडक्टिव एग्जाम एंड मीन्स आई थिंक प्रोडक्टिबल इन द सेंस इट्स इन अ गुड वे कंपेयर टू कैट सो यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट सिमिलर सॉर्ट ऑफ मीन्स ओवर द ईयर्स द डिफिकल्टी लेवल हैज रिमेन द सेम ओवर द ईयर्स द टाइमिंग एंड ऑल थोड़ा सा पैटर्न थोड़ा हल्का हल्का चेंज हुआ द पैटर्न इज ऑलमोस्ट द सेम टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच कम ऑल द सेम है ना so that is something which gives you uh, means lot clarity when you are writing those uh, mock test and previous year question so you there there won't be much su- many surprises na or zero surprises during the exam just go there whatever you prepared you will be able to reap your rewards if you are doing well on the red day na to bahut zyada fluctuation nahi hota hai bahut zyada kuch naya nahi aane wala hai agar aap well prepared ho to aap bahut acche se kar paoge that, that is something which is beauty of cat come is that compared to cat so i think it's a very very good exam okay so i think uh, that is all uh, all the best for exam prepare well thank you very much